Hello! It's been a ridiculously long time since I made a video. It's craziness, craziness. So what are we talking about today? Well, today's video is a bit of an update video. In fact, quite a big update video, mainly about my own language learning and where I'm at, what I've been doing and where I'm headed right now. So it's kind of different to where things were last time I spoke to you. So for now, Indonesian, which was the language I've been learning for ooh, a good few months now, um, Hmm. since last year, since the end of last year, definitely, since about October maybe, maybe about six months. So I've been learning for about six months and I'm comfortable, I'm very happy. Um, saya, saya suka bahasa Indonesia, saya suka belajar, saya suka uh, berbicara bahasa Indonesia. Um, yeah. I, dan, uh, dan sekarang saya mau uh, belajar um, lagi. Lagi bahasa. No, lagi, no, other. I want to learn other languages now. Um, but it's not the end for Indonesian. I'll be coming back to Indonesian and I am not just gonna like stop there. I spent ages, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this. I spent ages making a memorized course uh, based on the course book, the teach yourself course book that I was using for Indonesian. And I'm still gonna be keeping up with this. So I haven't just made it to then not do it. That is definitely not what's happening here because that was a big process. And in fact, that's something that I learned is that I wish I had done that while I was studying. So like alongside, as I was going through the book, I wish I'd done it at the same time because doing all of that in one go was kind of monotonous after a while. At first it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it got kind of dull, um, but I finished it. So I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep doing like a little bit on that each day. But, but, I will actually be studying two new languages, one for the month of May and the other one, the second one for three months, so kind of May, June, July. Um, and those languages are completely, well, almost completely brand new to me, one of them is. One of them is completely brand new to me. And so I'm kind of excited. Before we begin, I have to say a huge thank you to Maureen Millward who helped me, who actually told me about these two different language challenges that are going on right now. So uh, thank you, <laughs> because without you telling me that, I would not be doing this right now, so thank you. Um, and so the first one, like I said, is Slovak. Now this is for, as you may know, the polyglot gathering this year has moved from Berlin for the first time and it's happening in Bratislava in Slovakia. Now I'm kind of excited because I have been to Slovakia before and I actually really, really loved it. But we were in the east of Slovakia, meaning that I didn't get to Bratislava, which is kind of um, quite weird to feel like I went to the country, but I didn't go to the capital. It kind of seems really odd. So I'm quite glad that I'm gonna get a chance to see Bratislava. And by signing up, it means that I have to do a presentation. Ah! Although obviously I'm a little bit scared, I'm quite excited because this means that I have like an end goal that's really, you know, like happening soon. So it's gonna like, push me to keep going and, and keep studying and, and not give in because it is so short. So I'm looking forward to that. And the second language is a language that I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing correctly. That's how little I know about it. And it's Guarani or Guarani, Guarani. And I'm studying this language as part of the Step Up Language Programme, which is a brand new thing run by um, Jefferson who, again, Maureen introduced me to this challenge, so thank you. Um, and I'm really excited about this. This is a free challenge. This is the first time it's run. It's kind of like a pilot program at the moment. Um, I think when this video is going out, the, the final sign-up day was yesterday, so I'm sorry if you're watching this and you hadn't heard about it until now, but hopefully you'll be able to get involved next time around. And basically the reason, is it, so it's three, three months, so I'm doing this for May, June, July, the reason I've picked this language is that this is a language that's spoken in Paraguay. Now, when we go on our trip next year, which is kind of looming ever closer, and I'll, I'll talk more about this in a minute, one of the countries we will be visiting is Paraguay. And there, there's a reason for this. I think, you know, when people think, oh, I'm going to South America, Paraguay may not be top of the list <laughs> of countries that you, that you think to go to. But when I wrote my final year Spanish dissertation, I wrote about Spanish around the world, that was like the topic. Um, and so I wrote about Spanish in the United States, in um, Catalonia in Spain, and in um, Paraguay. Because what's really interesting about Spanish in Paraguay is that it lives, lives like as an active language, you know what I mean? Alongside Guarani, um, 
again, apologies if I'm pronouncing that completely wrong, lives alongside and there was a time, you know, now it's kind of becoming, Spanish is becoming much more um, widely understood as far as I believe, but there was a time in the past when more people spoke the indigenous language of Guarani than they did Spanish, which is really incredible if you think about it. If you think about all the countries in the world that have been um, colonized or gone through a period of, of something like that where effectively as a result of that a language has come in and then become the official language or the most common or most used language in that country it's actually really unusual to see this this kind of situation in Paraguay where it's quite different and so that's why I chose to write about it then and that's why now I'm, I'm going to be learning a little bit of, of Guarani myself I have my plan I have my my month in languages planner that I'm using this month and I've, I've started this a little bit early um, like you know obviously we're not quite in May yet but I wanted to get a little little head start on this especially for Slovak because I was a little bit late joining the challenge so I want to make sure that I can try and pick up um, f f you know kind of and, and get to a good point with that I'm going for half an hour of Slovak half an hour of Guarani every day um, and still kind of keeping Indonesian on the side so like I said I'm not just gonna leave it completely I'm having one italki lesson a week for Slovak and one for Guarani as well also with Slovak what I'm gonna be doing is writing on Lang 8 every day so writing a short thing using what I've learned actually putting it into a kind of visual practice and then also sharing that where possible either with someone on hello talk or with the group and I don't want to like bombard the Facebook group so I'm only gonna do this maybe once a week um, maybe share with, like a different piece maybe it's something I've worked on with my tutor we'll see um, but then I also want to make sure I'm speaking this <laughs> you know because the presentation isn't like me writing and giving it to them the presentation will be spoken so to make sure that I'm actually getting practice of the speaking I will be posting on snapchat I'll be going back to snapchat which I again these last few months with Indonesian it just didn't happen it just wasn't there it just didn't need to be there um, you know and this is something with resources I think is about just knowing when to kind of bring things in and let things go and feeling that flow of things rather than feeling like well I've started using this so I have to finish using this but now I've started using something else so I have to keep going with that you know that can be really overwhelming and so just knowing when things fit and when they don't is really useful and as for second language second new language I should say Guarani so I figured this is going to be more difficult there's not going to be much out there but it's so surprising there is a Duolingo course what Duolingo course in Spanish. On Hello Talk, I didn't find it as a language option, so there's no one really to chat to on there. But there's loads of videos on uh, YouTube, there's loads of kind of short videos, so I'm currently compiling a playlist to help me with that. And I think once I've got the tutor, you know, maybe they'll know some resources, they can point me in the right direction. And uh, yeah, so I'm still on the hunt because that really hasn't begun until the 1st of May. So, you know, there's still some time. I've started the Duolingo, I'm just touching upon that just to give me like do, 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 get an idea of where I'm headed with this um, and get into the routine of it happening but right now it's still quite open so if you do know any resources please do let me know <laughs> I'd be more than happy um, to, to know what what you know about this language and about how you've learned this language if you have in the past and just quickly if you're thinking what is this planner that she's talking about this is the free my month in language planner you can download this on lindydoeslanguages.com um, every single month I update it with the month calendar and then the rest of it is the same. So, you know, if you have one, you can keep printing that. Um, and you, so you've got the like, what do I want? So you start off by establishing your goals for the month. You've got a weekly planner and review. And then at the end, you've got the kind of month in review and the goals for going forward as well. So it's, it really helps me to kind of picture things when I write them down. So that's exactly why I created this. So yeah, if you want this, head over to lindedeslanguages.com, I think slash planner, um, and, and you can get that. Okay, I'll put a link in the description below as well. I think that's about it. This feels like it's been a really long video. I hope it hasn't been too long for you and, uh, and too kind of long and boring. I hope not. I don't even know if the camera's still filming. Let me check. Yes, it's still filming. Which languages are you planning to learn in May? Will you be going to the Polyglot Gathering? I hope to see you there. If so, let me know in the comments below and I will see you very soon, I hope, on YouTube. Hopefully sooner than before. <laughs> And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so because once I am uploading regular videos, <laughs> then you will get notifications to tell you when those videos are around and available. And there's like a bell thing now because new stuff. So if you really want to know when the new videos are out, feel free to click that bell next to the subscribe button, I believe, and that will 
give you a full on notification so that you definitely know and you don't miss a thing. Okay, I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.